I'm interrupting my regular video work for this short announcement concerning the fourth International Conference on Men's Issues slated for next year in Birmingham, UK, at St. Andrew's Stadium. Rather, I'm doing this to inform you that the Birmingham City Football Club has canceled the contract with Mike Buchanan of Justice for Men and Boys to host the event. Link below. The reason for canceling, as provided in an email to Mike, was that he misled them about the nature of the event. I'll get into this patently false claim on their part, but first some of the background on the story. Problems began to arise when an agenda-driven hit piece was published at a website frequented by Birmingham football fans. The piece offered a very warped perspective of what the conference is about, painting Mike personally and the men's movement generally speaking as misogynistic. In fashion typical to today's fake news media, the article, whose author was not identified, cherry-picked a couple of humorous utterances by Mike and fabricated a crisis with it, saying that the conference, and I quote, may come as a shock to supporters given Birmingham City's excellent record in campaigning for equality. For those who don't know, since 2014, the ICMI conferences have provided a badly needed platform for many modern thought leaders on men's issues, including MPs and former MPs from the UK and Australia, the first black female senator in North America, and the woman who started the domestic abuse shelter movement for the world in 1971. The conferences, now having been held on three continents, focus on a range of serious issues that disproportionately affect men and boys. Among them are suicide, genital mutilation, homelessness, parental alienation, institutional bias, and family law corruption. Subjects that are frequently ignored out of ignorance or contempt at other conferences that supposedly deal with issues of equality between the sexes. And how ironically fitting that the act should fall on one of these important events at the hands of a men's football club, who in doing so is making a public display of either depraved indifference toward these issues, or a cowardice that runs so deep that they manufacture a bald-faced lie about Mike Buchanan misleading them about the nature of the conference. I'm even disappointed in them for putting no real effort into that lie like they didn't know what the words justice for men and boys meant when it was entered into the contract they signed with Mike Buchanan. We've seen this before, people. It started with death threats at ICMI 14 by the same kind of people who wrote the hit piece on Mike without the fortitude it takes for a byline. We were forced to move venues that year, too, with similarly manufactured cause trumped up by Hilton's Doubletree Hotel in Detroit. And the problem isn't confined to ICMI or even to MRA events. There was the flurry of red pill movie cancellations in Australia, all done in similar style laced with personal attacks on Cassie J and anyone else associated with the movie. It's almost enough to make you give up, and I suppose some people would. But people like Mike Buchanan, and I dare say myself, as well as enough other people to matter, have a different take. And that take is simple. They will never, ever, ever silence us. Bigotry furthered by lying fascist is something we've grown accustomed to. It's proof positive of the need for a men's movement. The best kind of proof. 24 carat, and for years now, all they've done is ultimately attract more people to our ideas. People who are sick of being lied to, sick of being mistreated, and sick of being silenced. I don't know yet what Mike's conference plans are for next year, given the circumstances. I expect it is too soon to tell. I just know that whatever happens with the current gaggle of liars he is dealing with now, the revolution for men and boys will continue. In the meantime, you'll find contact info for the Birmingham Football Club in the description area below. I am sure they would enjoy hearing your measured, well-considered opinion of their actions.